normally you will do the restore on the hana studio hana backup and restore that you can perform it then after the restore what are the post steps what are the post steps we have to perform it here what are the post as soon as restore is completed as soon as the restore is completed what we have to do right so what as soon as restore is completed so we need to check the so connectivity test otherwise first of all as soon as restore completed what we have to do so this is the hana database if it is hana database we need to so check the connectivity we need to reset the we need to reset the hdb user store entries we need to reset the hdb user store entries here so why because here you after the restore you will get the you will get the you will get the production entries here production entries in this hdb user store so then so we need to then we need to remove and add the your add the current system current system entries that is the very important point here hdb user store list here suppose example restore is completed right so in the sap hana database the restore is completed here so this is the database restore is completed here just you can go to the your sid adm then there is a hdb user store space list right you will see the details here details here right you will be got the details here so now what happened after the restore you will get the suppose like you restored from the sap linux 1 to sap hana database you restored then you will get the sap linux 1 details and schema everything you will get it out then what you have to do you need to so drop you need to drop the entry you need to drop the key you need to drop this key then once you drop the key then again you need to add the key here so you add so schema name then so user password schema name host name all those things you have to add it here so you have to add it here then once you done it here then check the connection test connection test right this is the very important which means reset the hdb user store entries that is the first thing we have to do it as soon as the restore is completed so right then perform the connection test perform the connection test using r3 trans hyphen d so this we have to execute from the sid adm user sid adm user here suppose example here so we have the sid adm about like ecd adm right this is what we have done the restore here so then What is the password? I don't know. Someone saying it or not? Oh, I'm logging with two different user. It's a nine zero nine zero. Then something got locked, I guess. Okay, so not a problem. So then let me show you in other way with a different user then you will see
Oh my God, what happened? All users are got locked. Okay, so here, so you need to just execute the command like rp trans iphone d with sid adm, then that will that will find out the so that will check the so your connection test to the sap system here your connection test to the sap system here then once you've done it then what we have to do we need to start the sap application here so perform the hdb user store entries then perform the connection test these are the four steps here very important especially for the hana you need to perform this one right so then perform the connection test using the rt trans iphone d so this is the command it will this is the command so it will give the results like so whether you are successfully connecting to application is successfully connecting to the db or not it will show the information here then so make the btc btc work process to zero btc work process to zero zero then we need the btc work process to zero then start the start the sap system why because so if you don't make the btc work process zero all the bad jobs all the production jobs will run on the development it will harm the production instance so so why because you have restored the production data into development so all the data whatever the data you have in the production including jobs configuration license users everything you will get into the your so development system so mm -hmm. as soon as your btc work process are available when you start the system then immediately your all the bad jobs will start running it here so that's the reason you need to just to start the just start the so uh, system without just to start the system without any bad jobs without any batch work process otherwise bad jobs will run it will create the harm in the system that's why just run the system here just go ahead and run the application server here then let's see see batch work process oh i am not made to zero so what i have we have to do here so go to the profiles we have the voice level profiles are there right go to the profiles here user sap star so then sid then sys then profile then go to the instance profile here instance profile right in the instance profile just to make the btc work process to so zero btc work process to zero here so then the work process it won't start it here the work process it won't start it here just let me restart again Otherwise, all the jobs will start running, then it will create the some problem after the restore. So make sure you need to make the BTC work process to zero. Zero. Why we have to make it means so as soon as your B system started, the BTC are available, all the jobs will start running it, right? All the jobs, all the production jobs will running it here. So that is the problem here. That will create the problem here. So that is the reason what we have to do. We need to so start the SAP so system without any background work process here. Without any background work process, we have to start it here. Without any background work process, we have to start. Right? So but then there is a so many uh, files are there. How can I identify that one in profiles? Not, not the so many files, right? So those are the versions related files here. Yeah, we only get the yeah. SR, SAP, SID, SIS, profile. In the profile, you see these are the versions related to profile. 1.12.3.4.5. Dot 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 here, without any dots, you will see the profiles here, right? This is our instance profile. So just to open this profile, just to open this profile, then check the BTC work process means this is the BTC work process related parameter, right? or this slash wp underscore n1 underscore btc equal to zero zero means if you put the zero the work process will start with the zero here right work process no no btc work process so if there is no btc work process what will happen the jobs it won't run right so that is what we are yes. 
doing here? Okay. We are stopping from the manual list. BTC. It's a BTC. Yeah, BTC. BTC, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the BTC. BTC. BTP is a different topic again. It's a BTC. Then I'm starting my SAP. Yeah, now there is no BTC work process here. So you can check it out whether it is connecting to the DDB or not. But the database is starting means, so definitely it is connecting to the database here. So DB connection is open. The DB connecting to the database, connection initiated, connection initiated, chosen the DB. So connection used for the database. So SQL server drone so yeah it is connecting so db connection is okay db connect is okay db connect is okay db connect is okay fine so yes it started now right so your, your database your sap system is started after sap is started after the restore now so normally it won't start it won't start why because you have the production entries now just to open the your development development here now you see in the development, you see the development itself, you see our ECP production system, client, this one, all those things, including everything. This is the copy of your production system. In the production, you have same, right? 100 client copy of production here. So in the development also, in the development also, you got the same, you got the same here, right? Why? Because it's a development system. It's a development system. All the development data gone now right same copy of your so production you got the data including banner also including banner also you got it here including banner also you got the data here including banner also you got the data so what i what i will do here i will change the client number to 100 here i will change the client number to 100 so there is a login client here 100 so same 100 client we will get from here okay next restart it will set to the 100 client here now log into the here but it won't allow you to log in now. Why? Because it license issue here. License. Why? Because as soon as the restore completed your production system, yeah, you are, why? Because the license also, it's a production license only. The license also, it's a production license only. Everything is licensed. Now, if you want to log in, so now you can, I'm using the basis user. You cannot log in. License check error, right? License check error. So what you have to do? We need to log into the triple zero client. We need to enable the SAP star. Then with the pass, we have to enable it here. So that is also got locked here, right? We cannot apply the license also here from here. Only SAP star with the pass, we have to apply the license. Only SAP star with the pass, we have to apply the license here. So then now we need to generate the new license and we have to apply the license here. So for this one, what we have to do, right? So we have started the SAP system without any background jobs. So jobs, it won't run. Then, then enable the SAP star user, emergency user to apply the license. To apply the license, we have to enable the SAP star, SAP star user. With the triple zero client, we have to log in and we have to apply it here. So for this one, we need to change the parameter, right? We know that parameter slide. So login slash no underscore user SAP star. That is the first one we discussed, right? We have to change that parameter. Then <clears throat> we have to change that parameter. Then we have to restart the system here. Okay. So before the restart, so let me check. Let me unlock the SAP star first of all here. Let me unlock the SAP star here. Just to go to the query. We need to write the query here. So it's like... Uh, Update. Update. Yeah, using SQL uh, database. Yeah, SQL database are so uh, so HANA database. The queries are common. The query is common here. The query is common here. So queries SQL queries are common here. Only uh, the way we are executing is different. The consoles are different. The queries are common here. Where so. Okay, so here what we have to do here. So update u flag equals to zero. U flag equals to zero. So then number flag CP ECD dot 
USR02 is the table. USR02 is the table here. Set U log equals to zero. Zero. Where D name equals to D name equals to SAP stop. The client also we have to mention yes, three rows are affected. So three rows are affected here. So it's unlocked. So what I can do, I can log in with the SAP. Sir, how are you uh, you integrated sir, this thing sir S3? Uh, we are working on HANA. Working on? We are working on HANA database. Okay. Uh, is SQL query uh, structure this? How you integrated that in that? SQL queries means is uh, in you HANA. Are, you are writing the queries right? now. Yes. Yes, yes. I have written the query in the uh, query I have written. So if we want to do this thing, sir, then how how will do? We can't do that. We can scale. Yeah, so what? Uh, we, what uh, what okay. we can ask that we are connected to SAP. We have done the DB, Hana DB. The first type part of what we are updating that code in the SQL command. SQL, SQL command, SQL query, SQL studio. I have done it. Why? Because mm -hmm. our SAP systems are hosted on the SQL server. SQL server. That's why I'm executing the query in the SQL here. But SQL here, I'm doing the here. Okay. So why? Because Hana also we have the similar. We can execute it in the Hana studio. There is a query console. You did you see that one query console? Same query you can execute from there also. You can execute it here. But this is the SQL. Our SAP, ECD, ECP are running on the SQL server database. SQL database. That's why I am executing the query in the SQL databases here. But in real time, only one database will be there. We have to execute in SQL console, right? SQL console. Either if you have, suppose in your organization you are using the SQL SQL server, you need to execute the query in the SQL console. But if they are using the HANA, then in the HANA studio, query console is there. There you have to use the, there you have to use the, this commands, you have to use it here. So depends, depends upon the, so uh, database, you need to use it here. Yeah, secure store is locked, so I'm getting unlocked. Okay, so here, once you connect it here, you will get the SQL console. See here, open the SQL console for the selected system here. Open the SQL console. Just to open the SQL console, the console will be opened. Then you can execute the similar queries in the HANA database. In the DB2 also, you will get the DB2 SQL, you will get the console. In the Sybase also, you will get the same. In the Varakil also, you will get the SQL console. So every database, there is a SQL console to execute the queries or to write the queries or everything here. So every database there has own SQL editor. So you just you can go ahead and edit it. So since we are we are using the this database. So we are using this one. So that's why SQL server database. That's why I executed the command. So but the restore and recovery part is same here. Restore and recovery part is same. In Nana Studio, we went to the studio, right click and we done the recovery. Here also I went to the here then i went into the tasks then restore restore i we have done it same as like then so once we done it then what are the post activities we have to do these are the post activities we have to do it in the system here why because immediately system won't available here so we need to do the some some steps here like uh, enable the sap star user to uh, first of all first of all we have to apply the license here so we have to enable the sap star start the system so then First of all, before starting itself, only we have to enable the SAP star here. So then uh, to enable SAP star, so we have to set the parameter, then equals to zero. Then we have to do, if SAP star is disabled, 
So then it's locked or something, we can unlock it with the database level. Now we cannot lock log into the SAP system. Why? Because we cannot log into the SAP system because of so it's already so uh, like all users are in production users now, including SAP star. So all all are in the production users now. So with the production client only, we have to log in here. Production user password. I can log in, but the license we have to apply it here. The license which we have to apply it here. That is the reason. Without applying the license, we cannot log into the system here. Only SAP star is allowed from the triple zero client. Only SAP star is allowed from the triple zero client to log in here. So I am trying to log into the our system now. So with the SAP star, let me try. No, this is not the correct thing. Two zero two four is the correct password here. <coughs> okay, so I am logging now to my development system after the first time now. So now you will get the database inconsistency error. Why? Because we have not, we, there is no background work process here. There is no background work process. You will get this thing here, right? So that's why you will see this one. If you go to the sick transaction code here, you will see you don't have the BTC work process. You don't have the BTC services here. So then it's correct. Why? Because if you have the BTC services, what will happen? All the jobs will start executing it here, right? All the jobs will start executing in the systems here. Now you see, now if I just okay, now click on the okay button, all the jobs are released. So, but it's not executing. Why? Because it's a delay. See here. As soon as a BTC process are available, all the jobs will start executing now. All the jobs will start executing now. So, but I have not, there is no batch, batch work process now. So, now jobs are running, not running now. Now, these are the batch jobs. So, there is no batch jobs here. So, now jobs, it won't run. Jobs, it won't run it here. So, that's the reason I have started the system, enabled the SAP star. Now, apply the license. Apply the license here. When you apply the license, then only... Then only the people will log into the your system here. If you want to go to the license, S license transaction code, S license transaction code, you see, these all are the license from the production. ECP, ECP, you got the license here, right? So it's a production license. We need to, so we need to apply the your development license. We have to apply it here. For that one, we need to log into the service marketplace where we have to generate the license here. Service marketplace. We have to generate the license. So let me show you here how to generate the license now and how to apply it here. Then only we can log in. Otherwise, we cannot log into the system here. Okay. So let me show you here. So log into the service.sap.com. So while that is running, let me now once we apply the license, just log in with the so your ECD system with the 100 client. That is the 100 client, right? Then we can log in with the so our production users, production users, you can use the production users now. So I am using the production user now. So I am able to log into the system. But here it is the inconsistency because of we don't have any so BTC work process here. So now what we have to do after that here, right? So start apply the license. Once we apply the license, so log into the log into the default client, default client, default client. So log into the default client, then, then, then pass the, pass the, pass the suspend. I mean to say suspend the bag, all the bad jobs here. Suspend the all BTC jobs here, BTC jobs here. So using go to the SA38 then execute the BTC TRNS1, BTC transfers one. We have to execute it here. Okay. So go to the SA38 then. Just execute the BTC TRNS1. This is the program. This is the program. We have to we have to execute it here. Right? Go to SA38. Then BTC. This error. SA38. BTC.
Okay, CTRNS is not configured fine. Let me see. There are some dumps are we are getting there some dumps here. Some language name is yes. So some dumps we are getting. That means go to SP22. Let's see the dumps. So six dumps db sql error. db sql error we are getting here. Let me directly get the program here instead of typing ptctr minus one. Directly I will copy. I will go to here. Yes. Okay. I suspended the so I suspended the jobs. I suspended the jobs here. So then if you go to the SM37, so just check, make sure nothing is active and running here. All jobs are released and suspended, which means this jobs it won't run. Jobs it won't run in the systems here, right? Jobs it won't run and here suspended. So so you have to execute this command here, right? DTC PRS1 in message 38, you have to execute. Then so make sure, make sure no jobs, no jobs. So running are released status. No jobs are running and released status here. Make sure no jobs are released status here. Once you've done it, then so restart the system here. Why? Because now bad jobs are not there now, right? Then what we can do, we can restart the system here. We can restart the system here. Why? Because you suspended all the jobs now. Now just to so restart the system oh, before restarting what we have to do we need to make the background work process to before restarting we need to background work process to the previous value here we have to make the background work process to previous value here go to the make the btc work process to for save it Okay, so make sure no bad jobs are released. Then uh, revert the revert the so BTC value to the previous value. Previous how many BTC work process are there? Previous value, and then restart the system. Restart the system here. Restart the system. Once you've done it, these are the post activities. What I means? What are the post activities we have to perform it here? So mandatory. So we have applied the license. Then we are able to log in. Then so you suspend the, all the background jobs. Why we have to suspend the background jobs means so all the jobs will run, production jobs will run. Then apply the license, then delete the existing license, apply the license, suspend it, make sure no jobs are running the related status here. So revert the BTC work process and restart the system. So once you restart the system, then we can perform the other post activities. We can perform it here. Other post activities, we can perform it here. Between one limit and limitation. <clears throat> and due to deep space issues so we are unable to start it let me stop and start it back
to while it is in progress then revert the btc values to previous value then restart the system once we restart it then so then uh import the import the uh rfc tables the rfc tables which we imported then import the tra rfc tables transport the transport we have to import it then then import the import the so the umr umr using the scc8 using the scc7 we can import it here so trans why because rfc tables rfc connections you have taken the one now you will get the now you will get the uh, remove that one here i will share this one someone so so then what i can do can you remove one someone who who circulated this one just there is an option to arise please someone from the mobile or someone so they have circulated this one can you please remove that one yeah so the third point, and third, is, point. third point is uh, not BTC. The, it's not the btsp it's a btc it's a btc work process okay make the btc work process to the zero it's a make the so make the make the btc the work process to so zero you have to do it from the this space sir btc so, after that space sir btc then space wp Space, third one, space, sir. Space, yes, sir. First. Space, given. space given, right? No, here, sir. Here, first. third line. First. Third line, I cannot edit it now. Why? Because I'm in the edit mode. I went into the I removed the edit mode. So that's why oh, I cannot edit it now. Okay, sir. So that's why in the here I'm writing here make the BTC work process to zero. There is a uh, work process to zero. I think I have document. I think uh, I will share the post installation step document also. Then you can refer it. Okay. So there you have clearly mentioned all these steps and everything here. Make the BTC work cross to zero. This we have to do it in the profile, in the voice level profile. So we have to do perform this one here, right? Then import the UMR RFC tables. So once system is started here, once the system is started here, you see. So then start the system, ECD. Now log in with the basis user. TMS also not configured. So now all those things we need to reconfigure everything. Why? Because we have the production entries. So right. So now all those things we have to reconfigure all those things now. So now we are able to log in. So now you see SM50. If you go all the BTC work process to zero, all the work process four work process we have. So then, so once we go to the so SICK, now you won't get any error. Why? Because so here errors are gone. BTC work process are there. It's gone. So now the next step, what we have to do, import the RFC tables. There is a TOC, transport of copies. We have transport of copies, right? Transport of copies. For that one, we need to do that one. So in that case, so we need to reconfigure the TMS, TMS with triple zero client, triple zero client, then with the DDIC user or whatever the user you have in the triple zero client. Then you can log in. All the users are logged. Okay. So go to STMS. So then reconfigure the STMS here. So reconfigure the STMS here. So then the reconfigure the STMS. So reconfigure the STMS. Then, so what what other steps like uh, we can once the reconfigure the STMS, user master records import. Uh, 
then stms so then so then we can perform the remaining work remaining configurations like so smlg reconfigurations then rz12 so all the all those things whatever we have done it in the configuration we have to do the all rework we have to do it here then a11 a11 all sap directories so we need to check it out this one then so once smlg rz12 background job server groups here sm61 btc groups btc server groups we need to reconfigure then uh, profiles in rz10 then profiles import profiles import we have to do it here then so then st03 st03 so workload is free we have to reset that one workload why because you will get the production one you will get the so production one you will get it out from here if you go to the here st03 you will see the production one all you will get the production one so we need to we need to do that one that concept that one we have to do that one so right so now stms we have configured here ecp also we have to add it here see here we will have the production entries here in the development we have the production entries so production entries here in the production entries we have so daily we have the production entries here we need to re delete this one all those things we have to delete it here so then once we delete it rz10 also we have the profiles we have the production profiles here so we need to remove those things ah uh, whatever ever we have the production entry we need to make sure these all are the production entries right why because we have restored so all the data will come all the data will come from the production here all the data will come from the production so we need to what we have to do so we need to so delete all those things everything we have to delete it here everything so we have to delete it here so then there is a yesterday i think yesterday or some and then we have done the does not exist so some user master records import then in scc7 so we have import the data client settings changes why because in the client settings you see development so you have the production you have the production entries here so with the production then we need to change this to the we need to change this to the development here so many things we have to all those things we have to reconfigure right so system system uh settings changes here previously how it was there as per the screenshots we have to do the system settings changes here mm, then so w20 w21 idoc partner profiles then smqr then smqs so how it was there all those things we have to reconfigure here then so delete the sm58 so delete the so production entries in sm58 you have production entries here so then smq1 smq2 so delete so production entries you have the prod delete so delete production entries here then what next so then uh system logon information changes this we have to do with the sc61 then general text then then there we have to judge logon information judge logon info there we have to change the system logon banner changes here then uh, tms configuration we have performed already tms reconfiguration that we have just mentioning the step here right so tms reconfiguration so then what left here we need to change the icc development something like that then development means it's a uh, we have to allow the changes to perform the changes direct changes here right so then so just allowing the changes here same we as like, the client client role also yeah yeah client role also then i can make it like uh something training client okay so changed all those things i have changed it here so then system logon banner changes here go to the sc61 so then general text here we have the logon banner changes here so what i will do logon banner changes means this is the one here when you are logging to the system so here you will get the so all the details right all the details this is logon banner this is the very important so this one we have to change it here this one we have to change it here what i will do here ecc hp8 production entries are there so everything we have to wherever we have the production entry so we have to 
ช่นยิบเทียบ The Finding Black. Let's find right. System A. B C C. Yeah. Good. Good. So now, what will happen whenever you are logged into the system? You will see like system details, ECC, DCD, is the development client system, development or training client here. Okay, it's something really my meaningful here. Uh, something is something meaningful here. So then, here also fine. Right. So here, login with the basis user, same users. If we want to retain the production users, we can retain it. If we want to change it, we can change it also here. So then in the development, previously we had the 22 clients or something is there. I see here, whenever you restore it, all gone. Only whatever, wherever, whatever the data is there in the production, all the data we received it to the here. All the data we received to the here. So which means all the data gone here in the system, right? So now go to the SMLG, then delete the all the production entries, then just create the so development entries that you can do it offline, right? So then RJ12, RJ12, this is also you can perform it here. Then SM61, SM61, so you can see in SM61, you will see the, so all the background job server groups here. So here we have the production entries here, remove this one then add the add the assignment of the development system just we have to perform it all these things now now in smqr in smqr so no need to change smqr here but in smqr so it's not required to change it smqr why because we have the queues are there then smqs so it is also so some entries are here production entry is there now you need to change it so what you have to do you have to go to the here so here just to so activate the scheduler then it will come to the so just it will come to the ecd change ecd it will come into the list here okay so then if you have any production entries in the sm58 so delete the all those things here if you need to think what can do anything you can so delete it here all those things we can just delete this one here okay this entry so then smq1 if any queues are got stuck just you can reset it here just you can do the all those things nothing is there here then so once it is done, then you can do the so SLD, SLD, SLD check in RZ70, in RZ70, then SLD, SLD API cost. If any production entries, if any fraud entries, delete it and create with the previous one. That's why we have to take the screen captures, all those things. Right now we are not sure what is the previous entry. That's why we have to take the all the screen captures, screen screenshots. We have to take it out. TMS. So all these things W twenty twenty one A eleven. So you just you get go to the A eleven. So you see the all the some of the production entries here. Right, you will get the production entries. So then check it out if there is any production entry. So if there is no production entry, that's fine. If there is a production entry, we need to remove. We need to configure here. Right. So that is the one thing here. So then, so W20 also, you see some production entries here, production data here. So production data here, this should be ECD, right? Remove this one, configure the ECD CLNT 100, like this, copy it here, okay? So that is one you can do it here. Then W21 also, is there any transactional RFCs, which is pointing to the so development or quality, just check the thing here, right? So that is the one thing here, in SM59, so you have the all the production entries are there here in the production entries all are the production entries you need to change it to the inside of that one you will see the production entries here just change it to the your development entries development entries you need to change it to the everything is pointing to the here that's why we have the rfc we have the we have taken the toc transport of copies of the this transport request you can import it that one you can import it here and also we have so we have taken the user master records yesterday. 
right? Export system, ECP, I think ECP we have exported, right? So what we, that is the 12, 15, 15 to 12. So that one you can import it. That one you can import it here, okay? That is we can import it. So so whatever we have taken the export user master record, we can import it. RFC tables, you can import it. Then, so remaining all configuration, whatever the configurations we have, so all those things we have to rework. We have to reconfigure all those things here. So data will be same. Data, production data, but configurations, connections, all entries, everything we are changing here. Everything we are changing here. These are the four steps. There are many are there. So that we will continue on tomorrow, the remaining many way. But tomorrow, today, whatever you have possible, uh, how many you want to change it, you can change it. All those things, you can change it here, right? You can change it. All those things, you can change it. So whatever we have discussed, everything, you can change it, right? So that is the one you can do it for today.